channel. So a happy new year to start with. I literally can't believe it's 2019. Like I'm so old, it hurts. Um, but yeah, happy new year. I hope you guys had a really good new year's eve. I definitely did. <laughs> the sin of three, am I right? Anyway, I'm back with another video today. So basically I was thinking about like what video to do and then yesterday I was cleaning out my wardrobe and I found <clears throat> all of my art books from where I used to do GCSE art. So basically I did leave school six years ago this year. Like, I don't know how. Um, I was 15 when I left school, so I'm 21 now. But um, yeah, I found all my GCSE art books and I thought like, what could I do with them? Cause I just really, really want to show people. Basically I failed art, I failed like most of my GCSEs. I'm not really embarrassed about that, like I don't really care. But yeah, I found these and I was like, oh my God, like I wonder if anyone's ever done like a video like showing their art books. So I had a scroll through and I saw that like loads of people show like their A star work. And I was like, okay, mine is an A star, but I really, really wanted to just like show you guys like how I failed GCSE art. Basically, I'm not even that bad at art, okay? I didn't really want to take it, but there wasn't really much option. I think it was like art or drama. And at the time I was like, I'm not doing drama. Like, I wasn't shy, but I wasn't loud. I was kind of just like normal, but I was like, I'm not doing drama with some of the people that are in my ear. I failed it because I don't think I handed in all of like the final pieces that you were supposed to. Um, so that's basically why I failed. Not because I was really bad at art. I like to believe. Hope you guys enjoy, give it a thumbs up if you do. Enter my giveaway, I've got a huge giveaway running. That'll be linked in the description down below. And yeah, subscribe. Let's get to 30,000 and let's go on with the video. Basically, this is my first art book. I can tell because, like, why is there a peace sign and like a smiley face on that? I don't even know, but I remember this is my first one from year nine. So I did art, I think I did it in all five years, but it was GCSE art from year nine to 11. Basically, this is my first art book, so. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so this is about Japan, clearly. What, what is that? That is so bad. No wonder I failed, look at that. This is my first page. So I remember you always had to do like a mind map. So this is a mind map. It just says Japan, food, population, religions, culture, climate, clothing, music, sports. That's actually not too bad. I'm not sure about like the flowers along the bottom, but that's not too bad. This on the other hand, traditional Japanese woman. I'm actually really sorry for Japanese. This drawing is of a Japanese lady. It is normally done on a canvas using oil paints. Wait, what? I guess I was copying a drawing from someone else. Okay, that don't really make sense then. He was born in Japan in 1979. This culture appeals to me because it's pretty simple and I love looking and exploring Japanese art. I think the culture and this picture will connect with my work because I love drawing Japanese people. <laughs> As if I ever drew a Japanese person in my life before this. And this picture has really inspired me to do that. I think this work is showing... What? I think this work is showing a lady that's either upset or just shutting her eyes. It's pretty basic. However, the big black hair with a flower on it really makes her look Japanese. This artwork was made in 2006. Oh my god, I was a savage. I think this work is either showing a lady that's either upset or just shutting her eyes. Or maybe she's just posing, Megan. Maybe she's just posing. That is so funny. Oh my god, I actually can't. I'm only on page like two and I can't already. Okay, next page. Okay, here we've got some Japanese birds. Okay, year nine was really not my good year for art. I had a quick look through yesterday and my stuff from like year 11 is so much better, but yeah. Japanese birds, okay, that's all right. Inspired to draw this image because when I first saw it, all the bright colors stood out and I thought it would be quite easy to draw. I literally can't believe I said all this stuff. Like I took the easy route. Megan, what are you doing? Okay, clothing. Please, Jesus Christ, this is a bright page. Okay, so I did about clothing here. Japanese people wear kimonos, blah, blah, blah. I literally think I just copy and pasted a load of stuff. Also, that title is trash, like what? I literally just rushed this, you can tell. Then I've got a little Japanese woman going on here. She's all right, she looks a bit sad though. And here I've got a koi fish. This is a mess, this is a hot mess. Next. Thumbnails, so I remember you had to like do like six thumbnails and then pick one for your final piece. I think that's what it was. So I did six here. Oh my God, that lit looks like Michael Jackson. Megan. 
also my writing is like trash i should have definitely like typed out all of this look you could tell that i just rushed all this because i don't even know okay these thumbnails are very bad development oh look i wrote in japanese i think <laughs> we love a japanese queen <laughs> black hair really however on the smaller image that i drew of this i didn't spend enough time on it at all so it looked very messy and rubbish No, I actually can't believe my life. How was I allowed to write all this stuff? I'm going to draw this as my final piece and I'm going to use pencil or paint to colour it with. I definitely need to work on the umbrella looking thing that she is holding. He's holding like an umbrella, Megan. You don't have to put umbrella looking thing. Maybe I should have Googled what it is. Overall, it's a really nice image and I love drawing Japanese ladies wearing kimonos. <laughs> I was actually a savage. I can't. Okay, and that is that is the first of my books. That's just an evaluation, but that's just boring. Grades on here, are you ready? Target students own target C C. So what did I get? Did I get a C for this? Okay, so apparently I got a C for this. Um I'm very embarrassed and I apologize to everyone who's Japanese. Okay, next. Okay, I'm gonna flick through this one really quickly and then I'll just show you my mock and my actual exam one. Um, so this one was word and image. I think this must have been like year 10. Oh no, this was year 11. Or did I do it in year 10? I can't even remember. But this was definitely better than the last one. So I just did like a word and image thing here. That was actually pretty sick. Not gonna lie. When I did this, I was so proud of it. Literally like, okay, the background doesn't really blend nicely. But to be fair, that's pretty sick, isn't it? It's got like this Tom Phillips thing. I don't know who he is. Trash. Okay, then thumbnails. Basically, I remember for this one, I was like, right, at the time, I was obsessed with Demi Lovato, okay? She was like my favorite singer, loved her. And at the time, I think her Stay Strong thing just came out. So I was like, yeah, like that's such a good idea. I'm gonna do Demi Lovato. Embarrassing. Uh, I literally can't show you this one. That is like, why did I do that? Development. Fonts, I just wrote stay strong in different fonts. Lovely. Okay, then I decided to just do loads of wrists in different ways. I couldn't draw for shit, so let's just do that. The pressure to be perfect. That is so bad. She doesn't look anything like that. Well, once again, I've got like a Michael Jackson looking girl. Look, look at the top one. Sorry, Demi, you literally look like Michael Jackson now. I'm really sorry, okay. That looks a bit extra. This was gonna be my final piece, but I remember that is like part of the reason why I third because I never did a final piece for this one. I don't know why, um, but yeah. I'm also really interested in this image and these wrists belong to one of my favorite singers. Oh, that was so cute. At least I kind of like wrote a bit more in this year compared to year nine. Like, <laughs> it's actually all right. That was a much bigger improvement to my year nine one. Like, that was just trash. Now I'm gonna go through my mock exam and my real exam. So this is my mock exam one. Clearly I concentrated so well in class because I had the time to paint my hands multicolored and then print them on my book. I wonder if my hand's grown. It literally hasn't. I've got the smallest hands ever, but. Okay, so here's my mock exam book. Okay, so this is called In Series. I'm not sure what In Series is anymore. Oh, I guess it's like um, repeating patterns maybe. I'm just pretending to know. There's mock. And then I've just got a load of words. Oh, that's well good. Mate, that time you were sick. I like that. I drew these little, what are they? I don't know what they are. This is actually good apart from the background. Like why did I do like a bright gray background? It's literally not got a bright gray background. But anyway, I was improving, okay? Oh, I was actually really proud of this one. This one's actually pretty good. So that is the actual version. That is my version, like the shading is on point. Okay, I looked at this one earlier and I was like shaking. Like I was like, oh my God, that is so bad. Basically it looks all right, but look at the spacing between them. Like if Zoe saw this, she would be like quaking because she is all about like, she's like, I don't know. But look, there's like a massive space here. Mm, kind of massive space there, tiny space. How did I not see that? This would actually be so good if I just like used a ruler or something. Did I draw that? No, I didn't. <laughs> Judging me. Okay, this is like what I decided to go for. I remember though, like I was looking back at this and I was like, what was I doing? Because 
I literally haven't done a background on these. Like the Eiffel Tower is just in front, like behind it should be coloured, but it's just not. Oh, I don't even know. Okay, I just can't look at that anymore. I like how these flip out. Who did I steal that idea from? Because I wouldn't have come up with that idea. <laughs> Trash. It's all right. I don't know what they are. Own pictures of vans. Thanks for the clarification because I would have never known. Oh my God, I remember those vans. <laughs> Everyone wears like the old school ones now, but like I used to always wear these ones and those pictures are so bad. So bad. Development. Trash. Okay, yeah, I remember. This was my final piece. I don't know where my fit they are. I have them somewhere, but I don't know where they are. Basically, look how swayed that is. Like, it's swaying to the side. I can see now. And literally, look, I did the background here, but I didn't on there. Like, that should be blue in the middle, and that should be, like, grey in the middle. It's a good idea, Megan, but, like... Okay, then I drew it in big. Okay, so that was my mock exam, everyone. Now we're onto the real deal. Okay, this was like my big exam piece. Like, this was the final. I really like this page, to be fair. Close up. Only because I did it with a tea bag. Did I do it with a tea bag? I think I did it with a tea bag. I remember like everyone went through this stage of like, one person did it where they used a tea bag and everyone's like, oh my god, that's so cool. So we all did it. Georgia O'Keefe. Oh my god, look how bad that is. <sighs> oh, then here is my first piece. That's not too bad. Okay, this is the original picture. What is it? I don't know. Colours, like, I wasn't really good at, like, blending colours and stuff, clearly, but that's actually not too bad. The Boyle family. Is that Susan Boyle's family? I'm joking. Oh, these aren't very good. I really like how this, how simple the Boyle family's artwork is and how it is just a basic things like street markings and roads. Here are some of my own sketches of the Boyle family's artwork. I can improve these drawings by adding more detail and using a wide variety of tones. I should have used like a guillotine for all these things, they're so badly cut. I just don't get how I got away with this, like no wonder I failed. There's just some more, Oh. okay. Did I really cut out pieces? I thought I would just like paint, I don't know. Thumbnails, okay, so we've got zebra stripes close up. Close up of 10 colouring pencils to be precise. A dripping paint pot, some leaves, oh my god that's actually quite good, well done again. Oh, this is what I did for my final piece, I remember. This is like a two pin. And I have um, some dripping lips. Okay, Kylie. Why did Kylie Jenner copy me? I'm joking. Kylie, I think I'm gonna claim copyright because I think I did this before Kylie Jenner. Oh, look, there's my little two pin. I was actually so proud of that. I have it somewhere downstairs, like the actual big version. I can't wait to find it, but that's actually so good. Like, considering I'm bad at art, you know. And then here I just did like a pencil. Oh my god, how good is that? I'm sorry, but that's actually really good. I shouldn't have failed. That is like a pencil version. That is like a close-up of the beak. Um, but yeah. Oh, and this was what my final piece was. But obviously I did it on like a big canvas. Oh, look, it's cute though, isn't it? I was actually really proud of it. I remember we had to sit in there for like five hours and like draw something. I don't even know. So basically, I'm not very good at art. I think we've all discovered that. I shouldn't have taken art. I failed. I got a D. Only because I wasn't very good at art and I didn't hand in that. Um, final piece, but I hope you guys enjoyed looking through my art books. That first one was literally iconic I can't even believe that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been kind of different, but I hope you guys enjoyed it Give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe down below Let me know what other videos you guys want to see like 24 hour challenges or what I don't even know But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye guys